What's up guys, JV2017 here, and today I am continuing my Fallout 4 pre-release content. We are now in the single digits of our countdown. The release is only nine days away. I'm so, so excited. Just a quick reminder guys, this is your number one hub for Fallout 4 content here on YouTube. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned on my channel now and when the game comes out on November 10th. Today we are continuing my special stat series and our focus is on intelligence. We'll talk about the underlying advantages of putting points into this category and take a look at each intelligence perk one by one. Let's start by defining the intelligence stat and the game tells us that it's a measure of our overall mental acuity, which is a fancier way of saying mental intelligence and this stat directly affects the number of experience points that we will gain whenever we you know earn experience and of course it can range from one intelligence all the way up to 10 and the more points you have in intelligence the more experience that you will gain whenever you do gain experience and somebody actually estimated on reddit on the fallout 4 subreddit that there's a certain percentage increase and they said six percent and i don't know what the mathematical basis is for that. But if that's actually true, if you have 10 intelligence, that's 60% more experience every time you gain it, which is a huge boost. That's pure speculation, so keep that in mind. On the surface, we know intelligence affects our experience points, but it actually affects a lot more than that. And more experience points means that you level up quicker. And leveling up quicker means that you get more perks quicker. And that can be very helpful no matter how long you stick with one character. So bottom line here, guys, is that the intelligence stat is super important in this game. Moving on to perks, most of these intelligence perks relate with obviously our general intelligence of our character. Some crafting is involved in this category. We've got science, obviously, and then technology. So there are a few familiar perks returning from previous games, as well as brand new ones in this category. And as I go through these, I will designate them as confirmed, likely, or speculation. And I get that from a source in the link below if you wanna check it out. The Intelligence One requirement perk is Vans. And this is a confirmed perk and the official description is let vault Tech guide you. The path to your closest quest target is displayed in VATS. So, there's actually only one rank of this. I haven't seen a one rank perk, I don't believe, so far. So that's interesting. And what this is, it's kind of like Clairvoyance in Skyrim, which was a spell that would give you kind of a golden lit path towards quests. And I've been reading a lot of Reddit. A lot of people didn't like Clairvoyance, didn't even use it. So a lot of people are writing off this perk, but I don't think that's fair yet because we haven't seen exactly what it does. And I believe you have to go into VATS to use this. That's exactly what it says here. So. I don't know how that works. If you can just pop into VATS real quickly and you know see if there's something around because as you guys know, in order to get into VATS, at least in Fallout 3 and New Vegas, there had to be a target around or else you'd hear a little beep. So I'm a little confused as to when you can go into VATS and when you can't go into VATS in the game. So I really think that the helpfulness of this perk will be based on how easy or hard it will be to find those quest targets. If it's hard, some of them are really hidden, this might be a very useful, even necessary perk. If they're really self-explanatory and everyone kind of can find out where to go, then I don't think this will be a very valuable perk at all. Next at Intelligence 2 is Medic, and this is a confirmed perk. The description is, is there a doctor in the house? Stem packs restore 40% of lost health, and right away removes 40% of radiation. And this is a returning perk, but it kind of serves a different purpose. There are four ranks available for this perk, and really half of this is based off of the medicine skill. As we know, skills aren't really returning, they're kind of repurposed into these perk categories, and that's exactly where this is right now. So medicine skill is actually just the medic perk in Fallout 4. So the base perk affects both stim packs and right away, which I think this is super useful especially considering how important radiation is in Fallout 4. They've totally changed how radiation works. It's a lot more like Fallout Shelter, which was probably inspired by Fallout 4, but that's beside the point. So radiation actually reduces your maximum health. It'll show up as red on your health bar and you won't be able to go to your maximum health. It'll kind of, you know, chip away at your max health unless you use a rat away. So I think this is gonna be super helpful because radiation is so much more important I don't know if you guys wanna see a full video on it. I kinda of thought about it, but maybe I was thinking, nah, probably people wouldn't wanna see it. Let me know if you wanna see a full video on the explanation 
of radiation in Fallout 4. So the subsequent ranks with Medic are probably just going to increase these benefits if I had to guess. Maybe there's some special mechanics going on. We don't really know. We'll just have to see. The Intelligence 3 requirement perk is Gun Nut. This is a confirmed perk and the description is you gain access to base level and rank 1 gun mods. We have four ranks available of Gun Nut. So Gun Nut returns from previous games. I believe it just gave you a flat increase to small guns and repair, if I'm not mistaken. It's totally different in this game. It's all about weapon crafting and weapon mods. I've already made that video explaining how that works, so check out my channel if you don't know anything about that. And we actually know what each of the ranks do. So rank two just unlocks the second rank of gun mods, and it has a level 10 requirement, and of course the intellect three requirement for the base perk. Rank three of gun nut gives you rank three gun mods. It unlocks those gun mods and that requires level 25 and then rank 4 we're not sure about the level requirement but we do know that rank 4 unlocks rank 4 gun mods very simple also something else hidden that doesn't tell you that this does is it unlocks settlement crafting options there's a machine gun turret that you need a certain rank of gun nut to unlock so i think there's a lot of settlement kind of unlocks that aren't explicitly explained within perks. At Intelligence 4 is Hacker. This is a confirmed perk, but we don't have an official description. However, we can assume that it increases our ability to hack terminals and opens settlement crafting options. So obviously hacking used to be science. That was a science skill. And as we can already tell, you know, science is wrapped into the intelligence perk tree stat as a whole. So we're not sure about the ranks of Hacker, but we can assume it's gonna let us hack higher level terminals, maybe even give us more mess ups, you know, on those terminals, so we don't have to worry about that. And then of course there's settlement crafting options, especially with terminals. There's a lot of terminal kind of functions within settlements, so if you take Hacker, you will increase those crafting options there. The Intelligence 5 perk is Scrapper, and this is complete speculation. That name is actually my own speculation. I came up with that. There's no description available. As you can tell, the Vault Boy is kind of messing with a bunch of stuff, and my idea is there's a bunch of scrapping for materials in this game. Every item has a purpose. So my idea is that maybe you receive more materials from scrapping items. I think that makes a ton of sense. And there's another perk, another category thing. I think it's luck that's called scrounger and that gives you more ammo, people are thinking. But I think this is the dedicated more materials from items perk. It could be something completely different. I've seen speculation about ammo crafting. We really have no idea what this could be. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. At the intelligence six requirement is science. And this is a confirmed perk. The official description is take full advantage of advanced technology with access to base level and rank one high tech mods. And there are four ranks available. So you may be wondering what's the difference between high tech mods and normal mods. This is for your laser, your plasma and your pulse weapons. Anything that's kind of, you know, science fiction-y as opposed to just your normal base root kind of weapons. So what you're dealing with here is kind of a carbon copy of gun nut, but applied for, you know, those pulse, plasma and the other one I just said before, uh, plasma laser. That's what I'm looking for. So we basically know what all these ranks are going to be. Rank two is going to give you rank two high tech mods. Rank three is rank three high tech mods. Rank four is rank four high tech mods. And of course, again, this has a settlement application. You need science of a certain rank in order to place laser turrets. So keep that in mind. At Intelligence 7, we have Chemist, and this is complete speculation at this point. We have no description available. However, we do know this is a returning perk. In the past, it used to double the time that your chems would affect you. So if you had plus 20% regeneration, I think that was a drug, I can't remember, but essentially if you had you know, AP regen and it affected you for a minute, if you had Chemist, it would affect you for two minutes, just for example. But my speculation is maybe this grants you or enhances your ability to craft chems because I haven't seen any chem crafting so far. Maybe it's kind of like alchemy and Skyrim. We don't really know, but whatever it does, it probably goes well with chem resistance, which is or resistant, which is an endurance perk. The intelligence eight requirement is robotics expert. This is a likely perk because we've seen it in previous games. There's no description available right now but we're thinking maybe it increases our damage against robots, that's what it used to be. Maybe it allows us to deactivate robots if we sneak up close enough, which would involve sneak, which of course is agility. 
And then it also could allow us to recruit robots to work on our settlements. That's an interesting idea that I read, and I think that's a really cool idea. We're not sure about ranks, but this should be a strong perk, whatever you know it entails, because it's really far down on the intelligence category. At intelligence nine, we have atomic, and this is complete speculation. We have no description, but we're thinking maybe it allows you to modify nuclear weapons and also maybe craft nuclear reactors in your settlements. We're not sure about ranks, but that speculation actually comes from a viewer named Mark Jackson in my comments that I've been talking to frequently. He thought maybe it allows you to mod nuclear weapons like a fat man or craft those nuke reactors in settlements. This is really up in the air, but I believe it has something to do with something nuclear. I think Mark's on the right track. We'll just have to see when the game comes. Finally, at Intelligence 10, we have Nerd Rage. This is the last intelligence perk. We don't have a description, but we've seen this before. This increases your damage resistance and your strength at low health. And we don't know how many ranks we'll have available, but this is probably, again, the strongest intelligence perk because it's near the bottom. And I'm thinking for subsequent ranks, maybe this will extend to other special categories, maybe give you additional endurance, additional agility, maybe even luck. We really don't know what this could do, but uh, it's kind of funny. Maybe our character will swell up, get huge muscles, and look different. I'm not even sure, but Nerd Rage should be a very powerful perk. Let me know what you all think about intelligence. What are your thoughts on this perk stat category? How good is intelligence in Fallout 4? I'm still thinking that intelligence is the best category, just bar none. I think it's going to be at least six in all of my builds, you know, if I want to have a successful character. I just think the fact that you level up really quickly, you get perks quicker, all of that just either makes it more fun or it's just a better experience. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. All right, guys, today we looked at the intelligence stat and its perks in Fallout 4. Next time we will cover more Fallout 4 information here on my channel, so stay tuned for all of my pre-release content, and remember that this is your number one hub for all Fallout 4 content here on YouTube. If you have any ideas for something you would like me to cover that I haven't touched on yet, be sure to leave it in the comments section below. If you learned something new from this video, remember to hit that like button, I'd really appreciate it, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, stay tuned for more pre-release content, and more when the game comes out on November 10th. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.